So if I'm going to be honest, I thought this day would probably never come, but here we are. So not much has changed in the past sort of 10 months or so, I guess. 10 months or so, I guess. Okay. Still the same dude, sub count's still the exact same. Still got man tits. One thing that has changed though is the game that we're on, you know, last time I recorded a video, I'm pretty sure it was FIFA 19, mid cycle of that, and we're now on FIFA 21, so there's that. But it does feel good to be back. I've always known YouTube something that I definitely I'm always going to be interested in and doing, but I guess I just didn't really expect to be back this quick, really. But yeah, I've recently had a few friends in sort of the industry that have started to thrive and build their, you know, brand and everything. And it's just sort of inspired me really to get back into it because it's always something that I've wanted to do deep down. And I feel like now is the right time in my life to fully pursue this and just smash out videos, really. But anyway, now that 99% of the people who came for the, you know, best players in each position have gone, I think we better get into the game. And as you can see here, we've got a one to watch pre-order pack for pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition. And I think we're just gonna open that at the start of the video, I guess. But yeah, what this is gonna be is just gonna be the best player in each position. And I've played a decent amount of FIFA now. I did have a Draft of Glory account where I played around 10 drafts, I think. Won quite a few of those. And I've played about 60, 70 games on this account. So I think I've got a decent grasp of who's good and who's not. Used a lot of players in the draft and I've used a lot of the big meta players. Uh, some of the smaller players obviously so i know who's good and who's not for the matter of this game which is pace 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 essentially there are some players that aren't as fast in certain positions that are top tier but anyway you'll find out that in the rest of the video but for now boys we're going to open this one to watch pre-order pack thing it's not opening there we go there it is uh, really, I don't care who we get. I don't really know who's in the team. I did see it yesterday. They posted it on Twitter, but um, That's not a walkout. So that's not a great start Welsh Okay, I'll take it <laughs> It's not a walkout, but it is probably one of the better one to watch players So I am gonna take that boys. I do know somebody's gonna be a bit jealous of that one I'll take a one to watch bail, but that's not the point of the video. So sorry if I'm rambling Let's get into the best players in each position this FIFA Nevertheless, we're gonna be moving on to the best players in each position starting off is the goalkeeper and Bam, there we do have two of the goalies. So what I'm gonna do is I've gone for a cheaper option and a more expensive, you know, mid-range to expensive option. So the cheap ones that, you know, you're gonna be rocking with them in your starter team and the more expensive ones, obviously, is what you're gonna to wanna to work to. We're gonna be starting off with our boy Norberto Neto, 6'3", Barcelona, Brazilian, uh, not the best weak foot, doesn't really matter. You whack a basic on him, obviously, and he's going up to the best part, you know, 90 diving, 79 handling, 78 kicking. You know, he, he's a top tier goalie, really, apart from being the absolute top tier. But at the end of the day, it's FIFA, a goalie's a goalie. You're really buying them for the links as opposed to what they do on the pitch. But most goalies are, you know, more or less the same this year, as they always are. Uh, but I've noticed these two are actually very special just from the drafts I've played. And Allison was obviously that good. I ended up just purchasing them for my team. He's 66, I think he's now about 80k. But Neto's coming in at around the, you know, 2,000 coin mark, I think. Oh no, he's actually around 5,000 coins at the minute, probably because of like, uh, the player of the month SBC, something like that. Or maybe it's just because he gets good links. But he's cheap enough, you know, he's under that 10k mark, which everyone has to spend on a goalie, you know, 5k at this point of the game. But the reason why he is in the team there's another reason which i'll get into in a moment but allison anyway he is far and away the best goalkeeper i've used uh, on this game he just seems to make those saves that everyone else can't he's very like acrobatic in game i've noticed he's got the long throw which i guess is a bonus rushes out a goal which isn't always the best with chip shots being op but you don't really notice that in game if you're not bringing him out you're not bringing him out but yeah for around 60 to 80 thousand coins i think this, he is the best goalie on the game to be honest this year and i just don't think anyone comes close and he offers links to better center backs and everything that other positions don't. Moving on to the right back positions. Uh, at, coming in at that cheaper option, we do have Bruno Perez. And now this one's pretty self-explanatory. His work rates aren't the best, but I don't think that's, you know, the be all and end all this year. He does have high to low um, work rates, but you put him on stay back and he's gonna be in your defense. He's got that amazing pace, that blistering pace, good agility and balance. His stamina is there so he can run the whole pitch, you know, for the whole game. Short passing, 73. Long passing isn't too, you know, necessary, but maybe you put a catalyst on him. Maybe you put an engine on him, something like that, depending on what you're looking for. But he's got that good stand and slide tackle. So if you're good at that manual defending, he's going to be sweet for you. His interceptions are okay for a fullback. 
Uh, and in general, I think he is as a cheap option coming in at around the, I think around again, 3000 coin mark, maybe 2000, yeah, 4000 coins. He's gone up a little bit, I guess, because people are finding out how good he is. But for that 4K mark, he is a top tier right back for this game um, for a cheap price. And he gets some decent links being Brazilian from the Serie A, of course. And coming in at the mid sort of range, because I thought it would just be smart to include a mid range player for that, you know, 10 to 20K mark. We have Mbabu, and he has everything this game has to offer. He's also, you know, he gets those great links to Akanji. He gets the great links uh, to someone like Klosterman, uh, who I think you're going to be seeing in a minute. Um, you know, he, he just has the links to... Apparently, there's a gang war going on outside my house. But yeah, he just has those links. He's one of those players that are great this year. Can't really say too much more about him, you know. You probably know about him. I actually have him untradeable from a gold upgrade. He's got the three-star, three-star... Uh, maybe up his passing a little bit. He's got the perfect pace that you need for this game. He has the perfect physicality. Um, his dribbling's there and his defending's more or less there. Maybe you do put like an anchor on him or something uh, or an engine probably to, you know, it's, it's up to you really what you do with him. I'm just here to tell you that what the best options are. I just do want to mention I'm not going to be putting icons and stuff in the list this year or now because that is like the top 0.0001% of people that actually have the money to get icons so I'm not going to be putting those in you know for obvious reasons but we do have Nelson Semedo um, or Semedo whatever you want to call him moving to the Prem perfect for you know all the squad building that you need he's got that four star skills which I think is massive um, especially this year and the medium to high work rates are oh, Put him on stay back. The man is never going to be caught lacking. You know, he's always in position. He's there when you need him to. Makes those reliable tackles. He's got that defending. 81 interceptions, 81 stand tackle, 80 slide tackle, 92 stamina. The strength isn't really there, but I don't notice it as a massive problem because he does have the aggression to back it up. His dribbling's perfect as well. Short passing's good. You know, this guy is insane this year. Just he's one of those players that uh, I've actually picked up on day one, I believe, or, or you know, for my day one team. He's just insane. I can't put into words how good this guy is. You know, if, there, if there's one person in my defence that I can rely on, you know, bombing it back, winning that ball back, it is my boy Semedo. He is insane this year. So moving on to the centre-back position, we do have coming in at the start, I've got two players that are very cheap. One player that's at around 10k range and then two bigger players. So Tadebo, I believe his name is, yeah, Tadebo. He gets that perfect link to Neto, or not the perfect link, but he's French also, which really does help um, for links. He's got the pace, you know, he's not got the acceleration as much, but you can whack a little chem style on to uh, rectify that. His defending is class for a 75 rated card. His stamina is not the best, but he's a centre back, that's okay. His physicals and everything are there. Uh, there's not really much I can say about him, but for a starter centre back who comes in at around 1 to 2,000 coins, he is perfect. Uh, and he gets that link to Neto and the La Liga, which is, you know, there. Linking him up, we do also have Clinton Mata, uh, who obviously. It's just a, one I'm going to throw out there. He's really hard to link in, but I did actually get a chance to use him on a draft. I'm pretty sure I subbed him on. Um, and he is just, he was insane. He's got 82 pace, 84 sprint speed and everything. He's got the passing. He's got the agility and balance that other people don't have. Then he's got the interceptions, the defending and everything is perfect. And the physicals, 89 jumping, 94 set. Literally, if this guy was in the Premier League, you got to believe me when I say he is a 50 to 60,000 coin card. Three star, three star as well. Like there is nothing wrong with this card. He is genuinely insane. It's just the league that lets him down. He's about 750 coins. But if he, again, if he's a prem player, I just believe personally that he's 50 to 60k at least because those stats are better than some you know walkout centre backs. Coming in at the mid range price, which is around 10,000 coins, I believe. Uh, maybe he's gone down. Maybe he's gone up a little bit. But I decided to put a kanji. He does get that link to him, Babu, who I also posted in here. Um, He's just very good, you know, he's got the defending, he's got the physicals. I'm not going to just say the same thing, but from what I've used, he is a perfect sort of mid-range price centre-back. There are other ones, of course, Klosterman, if you've got the money, because he's a bit better than Akanji, I believe. Uh, but I put Akanji in also because he does get that link to Mbappé. So moving on to the big boys, we have Joe Gomez. Again, it's one I don't need to speak to you about. He's got the pace, he's got the defending, he's got the physical. Very similar stats to Matter, actually, but he does perform a little bit better than him in-game. Obviously, he has that composure, realistically, that Matter doesn't. I know he's got 74, Matter's got 78, but you know what I mean? In-game, it feels like Joe Gomez has the composure that he doesn't. All in all, Joe Gomez coming in at about 100, about 90 to 110. You know, the market's fluctuating, so I don't want to really want to give an exact price, but... 
he's where it's at, boys. Joe Gomez is the real deal. And if you can link him with Allison and this other boy right here, Virgil van Dijk, who I picked up uh, for 550k, you're you're sweet and you're never going to concede those goals. Van Dijk this year has the composure I have never seen before in any other FIFA from a centre back. Uh, team of the season Van Dijk last year, I used his team of the year. It just, he feels like that, it's insane. Come, like He's got 90 composure, 90 reactions essentially. Defending stacks, immaculate, physicals immaculate and he's got the passing and long passing of 86. He's genuinely insane and him on corners it's broken this year if you get that right um you know if you get that right i guess tactic with corners you're never conceding or you're always scoring bit of both really but yeah van dyke at 500 to 600k he is far and away the best center back on this game and in my personal opinion no one even comes close but i do have varan as well who is an honorable mention who isn't at van dyke's level but a step down from him you're you know you've got the varans there i just thought if you're paying you know 100k for joe gomez and then 500 van dyke that's 600k on your center backs you don't really want to be looking to spend you know 250 to 300 on another center back unless you have the coins like for example i do i, I also do uh use uh varan who is a top tier player i actually don't have him on my club i think he's on my trade pile at the minute but um yeah that's the center backs boys so coming in at the uh this one's a bit of a you know an odd one right cam right mid right wing right forward so it's essentially a hybrid of those guys um coming in at the cheap option at around a few thousand coins i believe right now we have el chuki lozano Erving lozano um high low work rates he's got the four star skills he's not got the best weak foot but i don't think that's crazily important this year um, his stamina is a little bit low, but I've noticed he's got that dribbling, he's got that finishing, but most of all for this year, as that cheap option, what you're going to be looking for in an attack it is that blistering pace, and Lozano definitely possesses that. And he's also got the outside of foot shot, which does negate the weak foot a little bit. Yeah, coming in at a few thousand coins, I just think Lozano is genuinely crazy this year, so I'd definitely be looking to pick him up if you haven't really got the budget. Another honourable mention between um, Lozano and Bale is Adama Traore, I think he's about 20k. He just doesn't have the shooting that uh, Lozano does possess, in my opinion, just from you know what of how I've used him in draft and everything. Now we do have the boy that I just packed. I don't know why he's showing up as a concept player. It is what it is. I I'm not going to fiddle around with that right now. But Bale, he is just insane this year. Uh, I can't really speak highly enough. Uh, I almost think he's actually better than Mo Salah for value for money. Bale at around 100,000 coins. Obviously, you're not going to buy his one to watch, just his gold card. One of my favorite players I've actually used this year. I haven't scored too many goals with him from when I used him, but he has that insane pace and everything. You whack a hunter on him or, you know, a catalyst if you're playing him on the wing. Any of these players, I think you can play striker respectively. But I just think Bale has that. I just think he's fantastic out on the wing to bomb it down. Got the strength to get inside. You cut in the finesse shot to the far post. Pfft, he's insane. Just trust me on that, boys. Coming in at around 100,000 coins, uh, you know, probably pick them up a bit cheaper. Just perfect card, perfect shooting, passing, dribbling, and everything. Uh, also, let me know if you do want these videos to be long because I'm trying to make it long and informative as opposed to short, you know, snappy, and you may not get as much info on the players that you'd like. Just let me know what you'd like in the future. So, Mohamed Salah, what can I say? You know, there's, the right wing option is really limited this year, funnily enough. But coming in at around, I believe, the 400,000 coin mark, I think he's actually dropped a little bit. He's got the perfect skills. He's left footed so he can finesse to the far post like Bale does. Uh, he's short, he's nippy. Um, his quickness is just unrivaled. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, down the wing, you bomb it down, you cut it in, you cross it, you do what you want. His shooting's immaculate. His passing's perfect. His dribbling is, again, immaculate. And he's got that stamina that Lozano and Bale don't have, I believe. Yeah, he does. So he will last on the pitch a little bit longer, but he's also got the strength and everything. So. Mo Salah is that top tier option. I believe he's perfect, coming in at around 400,000 coins. These are PS prices, by the way, of course. Now, onto left mid, I really did struggle to find a linkable cheap player that I've used, but I settled at um, Moses Simon. He's not got the five star week for this year, but he does have the four star uh, and four star. So, you know, he's quick and everything. He's perfect for the game. Um, his shooting isn't the best, if I remember right. Yeah, I definitely have used him on a draft as a super sub. Um, but he's got the dribbling, he's got the physicals, he's got the jumping, I guess. If you really want the pace, it's what you need for, you know, your left cam, your left winger, etc, etc, left mid. Uh, as that cheap option, there's not really too many wingers, like I said. Coming in at a few thousand coins, he, I, I don't even think he's that much, but he's perfect for a cheap starter team. But moving on to that mid sort of range, I couldn't really find one again who was like 20k, maybe Vinicius Jr., who I would probably go for if you can't quite afford this guy who's um, Usman Dembele. 
Uh, he's got the five star, five star. He's quick as anything. You know, he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing, he's got the shooting. Uh, the stamina is not quite there. Not the end of the world. It's the start of the game at the end of the day. Uh, Usman Dembele, I can't really say much more on him. He's insane. Uh, I've actually bought one like just below that top tier, uh, and that's Raheem Sterling. I think he's around 100 to 150,000 coins. Uh, he's got the pace, he's got the dribbling. I'm not going to say the same thing, but he is, he is there as one of the best left wings uh, for this year's meta. But then at the top tier, we have Sadio Mane, uh, and then obviously at the very top tier, we have Neymar, who I believe is probably top three players on the game this year. Um, he's fantastic. As a, Neymar as a left cam, as a centre cam, as any attacking position, really. And Mane is just that pace-abusing guy who can finish, he can pass, he can do it all. Um, if you've got the coins, buy one of these guys. They are absolute game changers, I will say that. Okay, so CDMs. Uh, coming in at the real, real cheap option, we have Lema. I think he's around 5,000 coins. He's perfect. You know, he's got the brilliant defending capabilities. He's got the physicals. The dribbling's there. The passing's there. The pace is there. The reason I put him in over Zakaria, who is a little bit better, is I think Zakaria's around 15 to 20,000 coins. And this guy coming in at 5k um, with a medium high and everything, I think he edges it in terms of value for money. Um, because you're not going to get that much more out of Zakaria than you would out of this dude right here. Um, I don't know why this spark's coming out of my right mid position. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, so Lime is uh, up there. He is up there as a cheap option. Uh, then sort of that, you know, 30,000, 20,000 coin mark. Maybe he'll drop, maybe he won't. Uh, in DD, same reasons as Lima. He's just got the defending. Uh, he's got the passing. He's got the physicals. He's got the pace. Uh, whack a bit, of, a bit of an engine maybe or a... Or a What's the one anchor and you're sort of with him at your DM spot uh, Kimmich uh, at that 50k mark I believe 60k uh, his dribbling is insane for a DM obviously because of just where he's played before he's got the defending of a defender <laughs> but he's a DM he's got 95 stamina which I believe is the best in the team correct me if I'm wrong uh, the passing's perfect just everything about that guy you can play him centre mid you can set play him DM um, same with Ndidi, you can definitely get away with playing him centre mid if you whack a passing chem style. Same with Lima. So I'm going to use these as a hybrid centre mid CDM option. Uh, another one that I didn't put in was Paul Pogba. If you've got the coins, definitely consider picking him up. Same with Goretzka. There's a few up there, but these are just the ones that I've used the most personally and I have got the most out of. So Ndidi's fantastic, Lima's fantastic, Kimmich is fantastic, and then Kante is a solid CDM. I wouldn't really play him centre mid. You definitely could. I mean, yeah, why not? You could play this guy at centre mid 100% because he has got some decent passing stats right there. So he's got the passing, he's got the defending, it's Kante. I don't really need to say anything. He's just the best CDM year upon year, it seems. And that's really all I can say on that. I know all of these guys for the cheaper options aren't going to link, but you're going to have to make some sacrifices, maybe figure out some hybrids and stuff that you can do to suit your needs, really. Oh, another one I forgot to mention, Nine Gillen is a CDM centre mid. Perfect. He's very good on this game. So it's just dawned on me that there are a lot of solid left back options this year. Uh, some of the cheaper ones are Tellez, but obviously he's got his United card now and one to watch, so he's not really going to be too cheap. But Tierney coming in at a few thousand coins. I don't need to really speak on him because it's the same as the right back. Um, you know, he's very good. I've used him in draft. Rusilion, same thing as the left back. He's got the pace, dribbling. He's got everything, you know, you need. Um, moving on to the more expensive options, we've got, you know, Hernandez and Alfonso Davies coming in at around. I think Hernandez is about 20, 30, and Alfonso is about 50, uh, 60. So these two are just fantastic. It all depends on which league you really want to go with here. But Alfonso Davies is insane, obviously, the pace and dribbling and defending, it's just perfect. But the best left back on the game this year, in my opinion, uh, obviously we've got uh, Tejas. Mendy, I just think the five star weak foot, he's got the pass and he's got the physicality that these guys don't have, apart from Tierney, obviously. Um, he's got the defending that's better than him. He's got the dribbling. Again, just insane, just like he was last year, but I think he's actually a bit better this year. I think I packed this guy, but he's worth around 100,000 coins, high, high, and rightly so. Obviously, yeah, the high, high work rates really do help. So moving on to the cams, at the minimum price one, we do have Coutinho. I know he's not got the pace, so I think it's one that people don't really expect this year, but he's got that outside of foot shot. As an out and out cam, just nothing else. Not a right cam, a left cam, a striker. Just as a cam, if you whack, you know, a hunter on this guy or a catalyst, an engine, just to boost his pace a little bit, he is perfect. He's got the dribbling, he's got the skill moves, he's got the passing. For this year's meta, I think Coutinho is perfect. Uh, as a cam at least and he's got that finesse shot which i think is very good this year yeah and he can really shoot on both feet so it's a great cam card to have about the same level as coutinho a bit cheaper actually as promise 
it's just harder to link in. Obviously, you could link in with like Malin, players like that. High medium, same, exact same as Coutinho, but maybe this guy's a bit more value for money because he's got the pace and dribbling and shooting. Uh, better than Coutinho, obviously. Uh, I think his stamina is a little bit better than Coutinho's, if I'm not wrong, yeah, it is. As a carom, perfect, but you can also play promise striker, left wing, right wing, wherever you wanted to. And at the top tiers, we have Gomez and De Bruyne. I actually believe in terms of value for money, Gomez is a little bit cheaper, so, so I think he's better because he does have that pace that De Bruyne doesn't have and the dribbling and everything. But De Bruyne has the five-star weak foot, the Prem links, he has the better passing, he has the better shooting uh, by a little bit in my opinion. Uh, he's got the high high, so you can play him centre mid as well, DM if you really wanted to. All in all, I would say these two, in terms of camp position, I think it's the best in the game. So finally, we're going to be finishing off with our strikers. Um, as a little honourable mention here is the cheap guy. Um, if you really can fit him in, or if you just want to sub him on instantly, uh, this guy is genuinely insane. He's got 85 finishing, he's got the composure, that's decent enough. He's got the dribbling, the balance, the perfect pace for this year. This guy is insane, okay? I've used him in a draft, I'm pretty sure, again. He was insane, you know, and he's 700 coins because of the leagues, the links, you know, etc. If you can find a way to get this guy on your starter team as a cheap price, he is unbelievable. I guess you could say, as that mid-range, you know, that 20k, 30k, uh, you could actually go Rodrigo from the Premier League, uh, Richarlison, who I don't actually have here, but they're both very good uh, for that 20 to 60 sort of k mark, depending on who you want to go with. Rodrigo's got the pace, Richarlison's got the weak foot and probably a bit better shooting. But uh, onto that higher range, you know, the 100, 200, 300. Martial we have, uh, I've used him in the draft again. I think I've actually had him in my team as well for a little bit. He's perfect before I got the Mbappe, obviously. He is just insane. He's got the pace, he's got the finishing. So it appears my face cam has died. Um, don't know what that's about. But yeah, overall Martial is that sort of, you know, 100, 200k option. Yeah, he's definitely the one you're going to want to go with there. And then apart from that, you've obviously got the big boys, Ronaldo coming in at around, I think he's 1.8 or so million coins now. Mbappe, I think, is around the 1.5 mark. I've personally bought Mbappe purely based off the fact that he actually fits my team a lot better than Ronaldo does. But I think Ronaldo is slightly better than Mbappe in game. But, you know, Mbappe's got the pace that sort of levels that out i think mbappe overall is probably the one you're going to want to go with but um thank you guys for watching the video i really do appreciate it sorry that the face cam died um but yeah i'm back on youtube now obviously i just want to again one last time thank you all for watching my video you've been awesome expect a lot more content coming i'll see you guys soon Bye bye